You were mayor. Sorry, see. He was mayor. Oh, you yeah. were mayor in 2001 during 9/11. Right. 2000, 2001, yeah. 2000, 2000. 9/11, yeah. And I said, I got up that morning and I said, I guess I got to go to work. And and Jenny said, You can't go to work. You know, you're the mayor. Yeah. And somebody's going to be asking you a question. You know, <laughs> somebody's going to want to know what you're, what, what you know, right. what's happening here. The city's going to. I thought, Yeah, you're right. I, I, you know, it felt, it felt very much yeah. important that I, you know, I don't think it was a, I don't know, I have immense powers or something that I had to, to take care of, but there were things. Well, it was, a, you know, certainly you were in a leadership position at right. a time that there was a lot of confusion and, and people needing. I had to cancel a, a council meeting, as a matter of fact, and I had to do a few things that, that had to be taken care right. of that day, yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Um, just a kind of question, having been on, on the city council, do, do you think that city government works? Do you think it's broken in any way, or what, what's your, your thought? I mean, I, I look at a lot of the, you know, speaking uh, uh, fiscally or within the state. City government works work? better than anything else, mm -hmm. as far as I can, as far as I can Any see. other form of government? But there are, well, any other level of government, right. you know, when you right. think about the state government, I don't right. think it's responding to localities effectively yet. Mm -hmm. And the federal government is completely out to lunch most of the time. Right. How can the co Congress do nothing for right. two years? So, I mean, I, I think city government works about as well as anything. It does, you know, maybe it doesn't fix every pothole, right. but it fixes a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But there are problems, and the problems that in our government are, are crucially, and we need to solve them. Like the access for people who speak Spanish in this community mm -hmm. is a huge problem that right. needs to be addressed by this community. Or these, I mean, a variety of things that we sure. need to make sure we are always paying attention to. What, um, when you, what made you first run for the council for your first term? Well, I got I got involved in, incidentally. I just I've, this is my first year out of politics since 1992 or something mm -hmm. like that. So I first got involved in transportation issues, on the you know metro issues and and city transportation issues. I mean, those are the things that really interested me because of the earthquake. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see the community come back after the earthquake. Mm -hmm. So the earthquake brought me into local into the uh, politics of the of the uh, uh, these bodies these uh, these bodies that at common on various issues like the Transportation Commission and those kinds of things. So that's what got me into it. And then that, the beach area plan was the thing that ignited my, my personal uh, movement through the system, you know, and up to the council level. I was talking about this earlier. You ran along with Christopher Crone and mm -hmm. Keith Sugar. Right. On, on that issue, basically? Yeah, essentially, yeah. And people knew that, they, because of the Transportation Commission, they knew fundamentally where I was at on some of these issues. Mm -hmm and decided to ask me, I, I had no connection with the political movers and shakers or anything mm -hmm. like that, except uh, Doug Rand, a couple of people that I knew, and uh, 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 Ed Porter, actually, and these kinds of people, and they rec because I knew Ed on the Transportation Commission, and they recommended that I, I might be one person who might be able to run. Mm -hmm. It was great. I, I think it was a great uh, privilege and honor to be able to do that. Did you find that your maybe core philosophy or, or the, the attitude you took toward serving stayed for your second term or when you ran again oh, had sure. it been revised from your first experience well the first first experience was uh being in the majority i mean i don't majorities and minorities are difficult right. to speak of but when i first got on the council i was in the majority so i knew i could do something the second experience was being more or less in a minority position and i knew i could influence things so the first the first thing i did the first four years was the term where i actually got things done hmm. I, I think I contributed to building the senior uh, apart. I did. I know I contributed to building the, the senior apartments over uh, on the on the east side of town, and I know that I I contributed to building the Nueva Vista apartments down the flats and tearing down those old Dolphin Lee apartments, things like that. Mm -hmm. I know I contributed to you know the living wage ordinance, things that I could get through. Mm -hmm. But in the second four years, mm -hmm. I was in a more or less of a minority, right. and I was. Uh, it's hard to express it as a minority because they were very kind to me but I really couldn't really influence uh, legislation the same way. And we're basically a legislative body, so when you're in a minority, you, you have to just see what you can do to add some other dimensions. Do you, do you think, and, I, and I'm, I'm genuine in, in this question, do you think there really is a minority majority on the council? Does oh, definitely. It, it's, is there? Because I always see, you know, on different issues, it, it changes. But it, there's a central, these guys are with me, those guys aren't. And yeah, it may I change get, on different yeah. issues slightly. Right, but, but, uh, no, but fundamentally. And 90% of issues, there is no uh, argument about. Right. 